So what happens if I don't know how big my array is? Say I have an int array, an int array, and I'm going to literally do dot dot dot, meaning I'm not going to tell you how many elements are there because it actually does not matter. But what I want you to do is I want you to print the elements of the array. Now here's a problem. If you come in and you do a system dot out dot print ln array, you're going to run into a problem. You're going to run into some goofy thing that looks like this. Uh, uh, int at 32BAF1. That's what you're going to see. That doesn't make any sense to me or you or really anybody. But it does make sense to Java. The reason why is because what you're going to see here, this guy, that's actually talking about my memory address. Up here, this memory thing that we were dealing with earlier, this guy. What that's saying is because an array is a complex data type, I can't just magically uh, use print. But what I can do is I can utilize something called the dot length property. Now, dot length, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's going to tell me how big my array is. And so what that allows for me to do is now we can structure through this. Let's think about this. I want to cycle through keyword there, cycle through, go through my array. I don't know how big it is, but I know it's going to be a big number. In fact, let's arbitrarily say it's one million elements. I have one, el one million elements inside this array, all randomly generated numbers. I want to go through each one of those and print them out. Now, that keyword of going through, going through multiple times should tell you that I'm going to want to make a loop happen. And my structure will be something uh, very basic like this. int i equals 0, i less than int or, or array dot length, i plus, I'm going to actually clean this up for a second. Let me write this. I was hoping to kind of build around it. That didn't work out as I was hoping. There we are. I'll change the colors. So the first part is my initialization section. So int i equals 0. Then the next section is my conditional, which is saying if i is less than array, because that's the name of my variable, dot length, which is going to tell me however big my array is. Finally, i plus plus have it go through each element and once it's done with my lib my loop once I've hit the bottom of my loop go to the top increment I check to see if I is bigger than a rate or check to see if uh, this becomes a false statement the reason why we do this is now because I know that I have a number and I know that I can't just do array here, one of the things I can do to access an element is utilize those square brackets. So one of the things I can do is I can come in here and I can write system dot out dot print ln array square brackets i. So what is this going to do? The first time I run through my array, i currently equals currently equals 0. So what is this saying? System.out.println array at 0. And it's going to display that element and it's going to go to the bottom of the loop, meaning i gets incremented. i then gets looked at is i still less than uh, array.length. Well, in our case, we'll say true. So now 
i again, the second iteration is now one. This is now going to do a system dot out dot print ln one. And it will continue to do this until it's traversed, again that five dollar word, traversed my entire array.